Find the volume of the tetrahedron in the first octant bounded by the coordinate planes and the plane through these three points. Four on the X, two on the Z, and one on the Y. What we need is the equation of this plane. In order to find the equation of a plane, there's two things that you need. You need a point that's on the plane, and you need the normal vector to the plane. So, we have three points to choose from, so we have plenty of points. Um, to get the normal vector, what we're going to do is take two vectors that are in the plane and cross them. So, let's get the vector that goes, let's label these points P, Q, and R. Let's get the vector from P to Q and the vector from P to R and cross them. So the vector from P to Q, we take Q's coordinates and subtract P's coordinates. So we get a negative 4, 0, 2. The vector from P to R, we take R's coordinates and subtract P's coordinates. So negative 4, 1, 0. And we cross these two to get the normal. Negative 4, 0, 2. Negative 4, 1, 0. Take the cross product here as uh, negative 2 in the i component. Yeah, yep, yep. Negative 8 in the j component. And negative 4 in the k component. So negative 2, negative 8, negative 4. And that's going to be our normal vector. Well, any scalar multiple of that would work as well. If we just happen to recognize that they share something in common, we can pull that out and go with uh, factoring out a negative 2. What we get is a 1, a 4, and a 2. Just easy to deal with the smaller numbers, the non-negative numbers. So that's going to be our normal vector. All right, great. And so then to get the equation of the plane, what we do with these guys once we get them is it has to fit this format of ax plus by plus cz plus d equals zero, where the a, b, and c are the components of the normal vector, the x, y, and z are any of the points, and we can find the value of d. And so let's take the point uh, 4, 0, 0. And so we'll have the vector is 1, 4, 2. Just multiply 1 times 4, add to that 4 times 0, add to that 2 times 0, plus d should be equal to 0. And what we get is that uh, d is negative 4. And so the equation of the plane is x plus 4y plus 2z minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay. A little more work than it should have been, but okay, we have it. And now we're going to integrate. We want to find the volume. So we're going to set up volume under the surface and above the xy plane. We have two options. We can set it up as a double integral, or we can set it up as a triple integral. Okay. Um, we're trying to find the volume under that surface and above this uh, triangle in the xy plane. So we can throw that surface in there, solve it for z, um, z equals, and, and throw the surface in here and set it up as a double integral. Or we can set it up as a triple integral. Um, so if we solve for z real fast, it'll be a uh, 4 minus x minus 4y all divided by 2. So that is uh, 2 minus uh, half of x minus 2y. That's what would go in here. And we just have to decide whether we want to do y dx or dx dy based on the triangle that's in the xy plane. 
as a triple integral, what happens is we put a one in the integrand and uh, we just decide which variable to integrate out first. This is perfect to integrate out z first. Um, z's live between zero and that surface. The upper bound is the surface and the lower bound is the xy plane. And then we're down to the um, triangle in the xy plane. We could actually integrate out any other variable first as well. But um, either way works. And so um, let's do it as a double integral here. And so we need to decide, looking at this triangle, who is going to be in the xy plane. It goes to 4 on x and only 1 on y. There's the triangle. And um, we need to decide whether we're going to do that as dy dx or dx dy. And either way is fine based on the integrand and based on the actual region. So we're going to set up as dy dx. Nothing wrong with dx dy. Um, so we got to get the equation of this line. in form of y equals mx plus b. So what's the slope? Well, we go um, down 1 and over 4. So negative 1 fourth of x. And then the b is the uh, intercept of the line, the y-intercept of the line. So plus 1. OK, great. Let me um, separate things so it's a little easier to follow. And so we're going to go with this format here. So our volume is equal to the integral of y's going from 0 to negative 1 fourth x plus 1, and then x is going from 0 to 4. The integrand is the surface solved for z. And we said it's a dy dx integral. OK. Let's go to the next slide and actually calculate this. So we're integrating with respect to y first. So the antiderivative is going to be 2y minus 1 half of xy minus y squared. It's going to be y squared over 2, and the 2's are going to cancel. We have to evaluate this from 0 up to this uh, negative 1 fourth of x plus 1. And then we have this outside integral of 0 to 4 in x. And so we get um, 2, who's going to be times negative 1 fourth x plus 1, minus 1 half of x, who's going to be times negative 1 fourth x plus 1. And then we have to take negative 1 fourth x plus 1 and square it. All of that is your upper limit. Turns out when you plug in 0, your lower limit is going to be 0. And then we have this other integral still to worry about. Uh, let me quickly square that. What is negative 1 fourth of x plus 1 squared? It's going to be 1 16th of x squared minus half of x plus 1. Okay, and let's go ahead and distribute across here. And let's see what we're looking at. We'll have um, negative 1 half x plus 2, positive 1 eighth x squared, minus 1 half x. And then we'll take the opposite of all of this. So a minus 1 16th of x squared, a plus 1 half of x, and a minus 1. Combining terms 
if you have an eighth of x squared, you take away a sixteenth of x squared. That's two sixteenths minus one sixteenth, so that's one sixteenth of x squared. As far as the x's go, this minus one half x and this plus one half x actually cancel each other out, and you still have this minus one half x out front. As far as constants go, what's left over is a two minus a one, so plus a one. Integrate that from zero to four, and it should be done. We get x cubed over forty-eight minus x squared over 4 plus x and now we just have to plug a 4 in and see what the final result is um, 4 cubed is 64 um, 4 squared is 16 that actually works out nicely then um, so what is this going to be reduced to uh, so this is uh, 16 times 3 and 16 times 4 so this is 4 thirds when you reduce it that's just a 4, and it's minus a 4 plus a 4. So those guys cancel out, and I believe that the final answer is 4 thirds. Okay? Uh, we could have done it as a triple integral, too. Um, and so there was work in the beginning to get the equation of the plane. Had they given to us, it would have been easier. And then once we got that, though, we just set up uh, either a double integral or a triple integral. Uh, we chose the double integral and just grind it out, the polynomial integration. Okay, great.